of Jesus is the blood of the new covenant. Here's another truth about the blood of Jesus, that it is the blood of the new covenant. Let's read from Luke chapter 2 and verse 20. It says, Likewise, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is shed for you. The blood of Jesus, um, it, it, we, we'll just compare it with the blood of the old covenant. Now, the old covenant was a system uh, that was provided uh, for it, it was a system of uh, rituals. It was a system where sacrifices could be made for the payment of people's sins. Uh, and Moses instituted this system. Uh, and through this system, the shedding of, of the blood of animals, uh, people could receive the blessings of God. And what we understand is that uh, they were truly blessed. Now, many sins could be atoned for um, uh, and, and people were forgiven by, by the shedding of animals' blood. They could enter the tabernacle uh, and, and several blessings came upon them. But when we think about the blood of Jesus, Hebrews 10.4 tells us that this is a one-off sacrifice. This is a one-time sacrifice that Jesus himself became our Passover lamb uh, and he shed his blood for us. Now, just imagine if the blood of the old covenant was powerful, and people experienced blessings through a system of works, how much more do, do we experience the blessings of God through the blood of the new covenant? The new covenant, the blood of the new covenant is that of Jesus Christ. Many more blessings are now ours because Jesus Christ himself is the high priest of this new covenant. And so Hebrews chapter 8 verses 6 and 7 tell us, they tell us that this covenant is a more, it's, it's a powerful covenant compared to that of the Old Testament. Uh, and also that in this new covenant, something wonderful has taken place and that is the law of God uh, is written in our very hearts uh, and by the Spirit of God we are empowered to live the kind of life that God wants us to live. You know, no longer are we are we bound in systems the way the people of the Old Testament lived but uh, here we are uh, through the blood of the new covenant empowered to live holy lives and all of this is possible because Jesus shed his blood for us. This blood of the new covenant uh, is also awesome because this covenant is an everlasting covenant. It's not a covenant that God breaks uh, on us, but God keeps this covenant. And so Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 20 tell us. Uh, and so as we consider the fact that the blood of Jesus is the blood of the new covenant, Hebrews 8, 6 tells us that now we have access to better promises. We have access to greater blessings in the new covenant. And we are just so grateful that, uh, you know, as God's people, we can, we can reign and rule in this life because we have promises better than the old covenant. And shall we just pray right now, believing uh, that the blessings of the new covenant come upon us through the blood of Jesus. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we are grateful for Jesus. We're grateful for His blood of God. And God, through the blood of Jesus, God, we are recipients of better promises. And so God, I pray for your blessings to come upon uh, the lives of your children, oh God. I especially pray for those who are, are looking for a job, Lord, that Lord, you will you will break through in their lives, oh God. And Father, that, that God, a, an unusual opportunity will come their way, Father, because of your promises and your blessings upon them. Father, everyone else, God, Lord, for all our needs as we believe you, God, we thank you for your abundance and God we honor you that this is possible because of your blood of God and the blood of the new covenant in Jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally for more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org